personality. Night and day among the tombs, this man was. And in the hills, he would cry out and he would cut himself with stones. You see, a demonic principality looks for a personality to express itself through. That young man in Connecticut became a personality that a principality used to steal, kill, and destroy. The Bible says here in Mark chapter 5, verse 6, When this demonic principality saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. And he shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? Swear to God that you won't torture me. For Jesus was saying to him, Come out of this man, you evil spirit. Come out. See? Then Jesus asked, What is your name? And this demonic character says, For we are legion, for we are many. There are many demonic spirits. Listen now. And he begged Jesus again and again to send them out of the area. And there was a large herd of pigs that was feeding on the nearby hillside. And the demons begged Jesus, send us among the pigs and allow us to go into them. And then Jesus gave them permission. Jesus gave demonic spirits permission. Demonic spirits need permission from us as Christians who's got the name Jesus as our salvation upon our lips. Those demonic spirits, they needed permission. We have the power to, to not grant these demonic spirits like what has just taken place in Newtown, Connecticut, through that evil demonic spirit that entered into that young man. We have the power to not grant them permission to operate in our communities by through intercession, through prayer, and through the power of agreement where two or more touches anything in prayer. It shall be done. One chases a thousand. The Bible says two will chase ten thousand. It says, Jesus said, I give you the keys of the kingdom. What, whatsoever you bind on the earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever, that means whatever you declare unlawful down here on this piece of land, yes, shall be declared unlawful in heaven. Hallelujah. And whatever we declare lawful, whatever you loose down here shall be loosed in heaven. See, at large, we have given up. Our rights, we've given up our authority in not ushering in the name of Jesus in public schools through public prayer. Now, I don't know about you. I want all our kids, young people, to be protected. And I could not be bothered, man, if, if you are a non-Christian, whether you serve Buddha, Hare Krishna, whether you serve, you know, Muhammad, whether you serve, I'm not moved by those idolatrous gods. There's only one God and one real God and true God, and his name is Jesus, who will protect our children. Now, if we can get the name Jesus back into our public prayer arenas of public schools, then the Buddhists, the Muslims, the Hare Krishnas, the Jehovah Witnesses, everybody will benefit because of the name of Jesus. Because He is the one who has come to give us life and life more abundantly. It's only at His name that we can stop these evil principalities to operate. Get me right. I love Muslims, Hindus, Hare Krishnas, Jehovah Witnesses, Catholics, whosoever. I love 
all people and I will serve them, but I'm not going to allow their idolatrous worship to decrease the Almighty whose name is Jesus, the living Christ of all of us. I'm not going to allow no idolatrous uh, worship and idol worship of other gods to restrict me from mentioning the name Jesus in a public arena. All the other idolatrous gods, their tombs are still full of their bones. But this tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ is empty, for He has risen, and He was seen by over 500 witnesses. Lives, millions and millions of lives, they have been changed uh, over the whole world because of the influence of the name of Jesus. They've changed for the better unless they have allowed themselves to be used through a demonic principality, through disobedience. We've got to get the name Jesus back into our schools. We've got to get prayer groups going in our schools. And you know where it's going to start? PTAs. We must get our parents. You need to rise up and get the name of Jesus Christ back into schools and let uh, uh, develop home, uh, not home groups, little, little uh, uh, cells, you know, cells uh, like prayer cells, uh, uh, prayer groups, prayer groups in schools. At least we have a better chance. At least we have a better chance. Jesus with this demonic gave him permission to go into the pigs. You see, demonic spirits, demonic spirits that possess that demonic man the, the, who dwelt by the tombs, they have a death mentality. They've got a tomb mentality. All they want to do is take lives. Uh, and all they want to do is destroy lives. All they want to do is steal life from people by using any means to kill them. John 10.10, 10, Jesus said, the thief, he has come to steal, kill, and destroy. Let us not surrender to this evil principality. Jesus Christ gave permission and to these evil forces because they need a human body to operate through. That's why they didn't want to be cast into a bottomless pit where they had no bodies to operate through and so they wanted to go into another body and Jesus did not uh, want them to go into a human body and he gave them permission to go into the pigs and what was their reaction a pig is an unclean thing in the Bible they went off the cliff and committed suicide that's what these evil principalities do or does they commit suicide, they steal, they kill, they destroy. Jesus now said, when they came to Jesus, they saw the man who had been possessed by this legion of demons, sitting there dressed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. See, the people are afraid of the power in the name of Jesus, so they rather want to silence him or say, leave our town. Just leave our town, you see. That's what it is. Then the people began to plead with Jesus to leave their region. Can you imagine the man who has come to the 